My wife talked me into coming on the tour. Um, it wasn't a very hard sale. She uh, came to me a while ago and said, it's time for us to start traveling again after COVID. Uh, let's go on this World War II tour of France, Belgium, and Germany. And I've, I, of course, accepted immediately. So I spent 27 years in the U.S. Army as a paratrooper, so I've always wanted to come to Normandy, St. Mary Glace, see the spots where the 82nd, 101st, and British 6th Airborne Division jumped in. Other than just walking the ground where the soldiers did their fighting, the museum was just jam-packed with uh, pictures and information of German and American soldiers and their weapons and tanks and stuff. If we weren't going to the museums directly, I'd be walking to them at night and trying to get to them. So, uh, Stefan was wonderful too. He's a historian, he's a French uh, uh, military veteran, a French paratrooper. So his, uh, his experiences, plus growing up in the, living in the Cherbourg area, you know, he was a, a wonderful tour guide for that area. Henri was a, a wonderful tool, tour guide. Uh, he did a great job, especially as a you know, child that grew up in the Bastogne area. He had some wonderful stories to tell and share about his family life especially, and what it was like to be there during, you know, during World War II when he was an eight or nine year old. Steve did a, a great job on our, our tour of uh, Munich. That was probably the most important part of the tour to me. You know, walking through Munich, getting, point, getting the restaurants and bars and places that Hitler and his, uh, his minions uh, marched through there and walked through there and talked through there was fascinating. Uh, that was the first time I, I really felt the evil of, of Nazism. You can almost feel it. You know, I'm not normally a very intuitive person that way, but there were things about that, that on that tour that made me feel that way. So I like coming to the Eagle's Nest, you know. I, you know, I can see how Hitler, if he was a, uh, a person that was afraid of heights, you know, probably didn't appreciate the Eagle's Nest as much as some of the rest of us do. So it's a, you know, beautiful, beautiful sight. Might even be better with the clouds having blown through today and stuff, a little bit of rain on us there. This, this tour much exceeded my expectations, so it was much better than I thought it would be. I'd recommend it to all Americans interested in history, interested in the military, but the best part about it was it was more than that too. There was a lot of culture that was, was being imparted and stuff. I'm sure for my wife Mary it wasn't nearly as military as she expected. Probably turned out to be much better for her than she expected. 